How do you feel about the gold price and silver price lately? They have been strong, but have you noticed they've also been resilient? And that's even more important. They tend to get pushed down, but then bounce right back. Like those weeble things we had when we were kids. Weebles wobble, but they won't fall down. Now, at the same time, we're living in a world that is quickly working to abandon the U.S. dollar. Is there a connection between this abandonment of the dollar and the strong gold and silver price? Let's examine it right now. Can you believe there's an article positive about silver and gold in the Financial Times? Gold price up more than 20% in six months. Silver doing even better. But this isn't being driven by the usual suspects, right? Retail investors, no. Central banks are buying gold at a record pace, accounting for almost 33% of gold sales over the last year. They've bought more gold than any other time since the records started to be kept back in 1950. I'm glad you're here. You found the right place. Your time's valuable. You're important. We love to talk about silver and gold and the big events going on in the world. I hope you feel like you found a new little refuge, a new little home, because I and we consider you a friend. Please consider subscribing. It's free. Leave a comment in the comment section below. You don't have to agree with me. That's how we learn from each other. Nine out of 10 of the countries buying all this gold are in the developing world, the fastest growing economies in the world, China, Russia, India, but add into that mix, Brazil, South Africa. These countries are also talking about developing their own currency to get away from the US dollar. Just in case you were wondering what the president of Brazil thinks about before he goes to bed every night, he recently said, every night I ask myself why all countries have to base their trade on the dollar. He said that on a recent trip to China. Gold and by default, its little cousin silver are leading a central bank revolt throughout the world against the US dollar. It used to be that both the dollar and gold were seen as safe havens, but just back in March when we had that, remember that little banking crisis we had here in the United States? Well, the price of gold went up, 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 while the dollar went down, down, down. And this is a very unusual circumstance to see during times of stress. Gold is entering a new horizon, a new paradigm in the world right now. First Mining Gold is a development company advancing two of the largest gold projects in Canada, Spring Pole in Ontario and Du Parquet located in Quebec. Each already has 5 million ounces of gold reserves, but exploration initiatives are underway at both projects to find even more gold. First Mining is well-financed, has zero debt, and owns an interest in four additional Canadian gold development projects. But why? Why are they abandoning the U.S. dollar? Why now? Easy, because of sanctions. The United States has turned increasingly to sanctions against countries that we don't agree with, and the countries have said enough is enough. Do you believe me if I tell you that 30% of the world's countries now face sanctions from the United States? It used to be just small countries, but now we're going after larger and larger countries. Do you think our politicians maybe, just maybe got a little too cocky, a little too confident in the power of the US dollar? Like at the outbreak of the Russia-Ukraine conflict, we sanctioned Russia. We saw that as a way for free to punish Russia and not risk any troops. But hasn't that backfired? 
And now we have countries all around the world looking to move outside of the United States dollar for conducting trade. Saudi Arabia, Brazil, Thailand, the Philippines. A lot of these countries are also talking about developing their own digital currencies, which would enable them more efficiently to trade amongst themselves as well. The silver price and gold price will be just fine because all roads lead back to silver and gold. Real money, God's money, the base of all monetary systems. So as the world changes, as the world bifurcates, because the United States abused its privilege as being the world's reserve currency, more and more seekers of value will move towards the precious metals. It's like a menu at a restaurant, right? As, the, as you're looking at the menu of available investment options and people around the world, because it's important for us to remember, silver and gold are a universal asset. They are traded everywhere in the world. They have value everywhere in the world. So as the world's investors look at the available options on the menu of investments, gold and silver continue to look better and better. I'd like to thank Ruchir Sharma for an op-ed article he wrote for the Financial Times. Much of this video was based upon information in his article. You may want to check it out. Thank you for joining me here in the basement. I'll look forward to seeing you next time. Why not check out another video? Be well.